Hey what's up everyone, CTN Technology News here, and today I'm taking a look at OS 10.11 El Capitan, which is Apple's latest version of its desktop operating system that it just unveiled at WWDC 2015. So this isn't quite as big an update as Yosemite was last year, but there are still several noteworthy upgrades, especially in adding iOS-like gesture functionality to Mac native apps. For instance, in the OS 10 Mail app, new two-finger gestures allow you to save or delete emails easily. In Safari, open tabs can be pinned to the side of the top bar of a browser are allowing you to get back to them more quickly, and then audio can also now be muted by the browser tab, which should cut down on annoying autoplay music and videos on different sites. Now, Spotlight Search has also been updated to work with more organic language, such as searching for documents about a certain keyword or unread emails from a specific person. Spotlight will also be able to provide weather information as well, which is actually a first for Apple's operating system. Now, working with multiple apps and Windows is also easier in OS 10.11 El Capitan. Clicking and holding on the green button of an open app allows you to snap it to one side of the screen or the other, and then puts all your other windows, even in expose mode, onto the other side. That's surprisingly Windows-like, especially since that feature was a major part of the initial Windows 8 operating system. Now, as always with the new version of OS X, El Capitan also brings a number of performance improvements. For instance, opening apps, switching between apps, and opening file previews are all supposed to be 1.2 to 4 times faster than before. That's actually a pretty noticeable change, especially if you're interacting with this operating system a lot. Now, the final big feature in OS 10.11 is the fact that Apple's actually brought its metal programming language to OS X. That'll potentially allow graphics to render faster, and let companies such as Adobe create new user interface tools that rely on heavy GPU performance, and potentially improve the still anemic level of game development for OS X. But anyways, OS 10.11 El Capitan is available for developers to download and try right now, a public beta will follow in July, and the final version is expected to come in the fall. Again, even though this isn't quite as big an upgrade as Yosemite was, it does seem like a pretty nice update overall, and I would definitely recommend getting this when it does come out. But give me your opinions on OS 10.11 El Capitan in the comments below, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you're excited about Apple's upcoming operating system, and I will see you next time.